Main article. Regeneration energy when the third doctor was too weak to regenerate, Cho Zhe gave him a little push to jump start the process. However, doing so scrambled the doctor's brain a bit. TV. Planet of the Spiders, in an attempt to end their perpetual cycle of rebirth, Mordrin and his crew attempted to force the fifth doctor to sacrifice all eight of his remaining regenerations so that they could take his deaths for themselves. Although the doctor rejected that request because he was unwilling to essentially kill himself eight times over in order to save this crew from their own mistake, he was willing to do so in order to cure his companions of an infection they had contracted from exposure to Mordrin's crew. However, the same necessary energy was released when the brigadiers of 1977 and 1983 made contact with each other, the temporal energies released in the subsequent paradox serving the same purpose as the Doctor's eight regenerations. TV. Mordrin undead. While regeneration was a natural Time Lord function, it was not an intrinsic part of their genetic makeup that could be acquired through simple DNA samples. When the Forge created a clone of the Sixth Doctor, the most successful clone retained the Doctor's knowledge but was incapable of regenerating, although this may have been due to flaws in the Forge's cloning technology. Audio. Project Lazarus. The Doctor was initially uncertain whether his daughter, Jenny, grown from harvested genetic material of his tenth incarnation, could regenerate, and when he witnessed her dying of a gunshot wound, commented she wasn't enough, like him with a fatalistic tone. Jenny later returned to life, unbeknownst to the Doctor, in a burst of golden shimmering energy, but without changing her face, the energy resembled regeneration energy, but also the life-giving gases of the source. TV. The Doctor's Daughter. According to one account, the Doctor's new golden appearance was due to the restoration from his savior. Pros. Doctor Who and the Time War. After the Bruce Master was executed by the Daleks and transferred his essence into a human body, he attempted to use the Eye of Harmony in the Doctor's TARDIS to transfer the Eighth Doctor's five remaining regenerations to him to restore himself to full life. This plan failed when the Doctor's ally Grace Holloway set the TARDIS into temporal orbit, severing the link between the Eye and the Master, returning the Doctor's regenerations to him and leaving the Master once again trapped in a dying body, which was subsequently lost when he fell into the Eye. TV. Doctor Who. During the War in Heaven, the Time Lords granted many of the lesser species the ability to regenerate, creating the Regan INF. Pros. Interference. Book 1. The Book of the War. When the Eleven discovered the Matrix print of the Time Lord scientist Artran, he was able to use the knowledge on the Matrix print and the Crucible of Souls, a space station previously designed to absorb life energy from the dying universe, to grant the entire universe of the present the ability to regenerate to become a new food source for the ravenous. The Doctor and three different incarnations of the Master were able to undo the Eleven's actions and restore mortality to the universe. Audio. Day of the Master. During the last Great Time War, the Time Lord Vasarian was captured by the Sontarans after he entered the Eternity Cage of his damaged battle TARDIS as he started to regenerate, leaving him trapped in the moment of his own regeneration. The Sontarans were able to use the resulting Artron energy released to power various temporal weapons, with the goal of opening a third front in the Time War, but the War Doctor was able to make telepathic contact with Vasarian as his mind was still active on some level. While technically frozen in time, Vasarian revealed that he had lost so much energy through the Sontarans' actions that he would be unable to regenerate. The War Doctor helped him end his life so that the Sontarans would be destroyed by the Daleks. Audio. The Eternity Cage. When the Third Doctor was drawn to a time period shortly after the Tenth Doctor had regenerated, the Tenth Doctor unknowingly drew on the energy of his past self to stabilize his own regeneration simply because the two Doctors were in close proximity to each other without either Doctor coming face to face. The Third Doctor described the experience as energy osmosis as the weaker incarnation took energy from the stronger. The process caused the Third Doctor to feel a brief fatigue before returning to normal whereas the Tenth Doctor was restored to full health. Pros. The Christmas Inversion. In one instance, the Tenth Doctor used up his first cycle's eleventh regeneration while still keeping the same face by channeling it into a hand. TV. Journey's End. The Time of the Doctor, which had been sliced off by the leader of the Psychorax. TV. The Christmas Invasion. Allowing himself to heal his body, yet avoid physical changes. This energy remained active and was accidentally interacted with by a human. Donna Noble, triggering a two-way human Time Lord metacrisis which caused the hand to regenerate the missing body of its owner, creating a human Time Lord copy of the Doctor and causing Donna to gain the mind of a Time Lord. However, 
The presence of two minds inhabiting Donna at once nearly destroyed her and the Doctor was forced to block all memories of him from her consciousness to stop her Time Lord half from remaining active. TV. Journey's End. Dead Time Lords could be revived with regenerative energy, though the amount of energy required to do this was very large and took a physical toll on the donor. Doing this, Melody Pond, in her third incarnation, sacrificed her ten remaining regenerations to save the Doctor's life after he was dying from a poison that would normally immobilize his ability to regenerate, and was hospitalized as a result. TV. Let's Kill Hitler. Despite using up all twelve of his regenerations, the eleventh Doctor possessed enough regenerative energy to heal River Song's broken wrist, although she was angered at what she considered a waste of the energy. TV. The Angels Take Manhattan. The Twelfth Doctor attempted to donate a small portion of regenerative energy to the dying Davros to give him the strength to see a final sunrise, speculating that this would cost him an arm or a leg at some future date, or make him diminutive in stature, but Davros used this opportunity to siphon regeneration energy from the Doctor, and transmit it to all the Daleks across Skaro. While the Daleks grew stronger, Davros gained several more years of life. TV. The Witch is Familiar. It is unknown if the Doctor suffered any long-term consequences from this, as he was subsequently able to regenerate without complication, TV, twice upon a time, although the 13th Doctor noted that, legs definitely used to be longer, after attempting to jump between two cranes. TV, the woman who fell to earth, an illusionary version of the 12th Doctor attempted to temporarily cure his current blindness by transferring energy from his own future, noting that it may cost him the ability to regenerate in a worst-case scenario. The long-term consequences of this were not important as this doctor was only a digital recreation. TV. Extremis. The twelfth doctor also demonstrated the ability to release regenerative energy at will without transferring it to anyone else, instead simply allowing it to dissipate. This allowed him to essentially fake a regeneration without changing. It is unclear how much energy this used, or how it may have affected his ability to regenerate in the future. TV. The Lie of the Land. In order to trigger a retro regeneration in the 13th Doctor's body, Yasmin Khan and Instan V. Vinda, guided by an AI hologram of the fugitive Doctor, triggered the Cyber Masters to regenerate and then drained all of their regeneration energy into the The Spy Masters machine. Along with successfully triggering the retro regeneration, this also appeared to drain the Cyber Masters of their regeneration energy entirely, leaving them truly dead. TV. The Power of the Doctor. 